Hey everyone, Mucklet Douglas Bartholomew, Reginald Esquire the Fourth here, and this is a guide to Boons in Guild Wars 2. Now let's get to the point. Boons are this game's version of buffs. They make you better, faster, stronger in various ways. If your group has all boons covered, you can achieve results near double what you could without them. All boons stack in either intensity or in duration. An example of intensity is Might, which stacks up to 25 times, but the timer of the oldest stack does not refresh, so you just keep reapplying it to stay at 25 stacks. An example of duration is regeneration, which simply gets its duration extended each time it is cast on you up to a cap. Boon Priority When you provide boons to other players, there is a priority system. First, boons will hit your party or your subgroup if you're in a squad. Second, boons will hit squad members that are not in your party or subgroup. Third, allied players that aren't in your squad at all. Fourth, your pets or minions. Fifth, allied pets or minions. And sixth, allied NPCs. For this reason, if you want to make sure that everyone has every boon in 10-man content, you get a provider for each type of buff in each of the two 5-man groups, because most boons hit 5 people. This also incentivizes staying near your allies, so that you can give them buffs and that they can give you buffs. Conversely, if I am doing a world boss, I might want to not be in my own subgroup, because I would want my regeneration as a healer to hit anyone who needs it, not just stack up unnecessarily on the 5 people. Next up is a breakdown of each type of boon. Aegis blocks one incoming hit. This boon has the highest skill ceiling of any boon. Using it at the wrong moment can block a hit that doesn't matter. The right moment can save lives. This stacks in duration and will still only block one hit before being consumed. It is famously used by the Guardian profession, but a few other classes have small access to it. Alacrity. While you have the Alacrity buff, your skill recharge occurs 25% faster. So every four seconds, your skills cool down by five seconds. The end result is that skills will recharge in 80% of their listed recharge time. So a 60 second skill cooldown will be available again in 48 seconds if you had alacrity the entire time. This boon is huge because all of your team's biggest skills are available more often, whether it be DPS, utility, or healing. Most groups specifically look for a source of alacrity and quickness when forming up for challenging content. This buff stacks in duration. Fury increases critical strike chance by 25% in PvE, 20% in other game modes. This allows you to gear yourself for 75% critical strike chance as a power damage dealer and still reach 100% crit strike chance with this buff, and have more stats you can put elsewhere such as power or ferocity. This stacks in duration. Might increases power and condition damage. Your numbers get bigger. Stacks up to 25 times in intensity. New applications will replace the oldest ones. Some classes can keep up 25 stacks of might on their party all by themselves. Nearly all classes can provide at least some might to their group, sometimes making your group reach 25 stacks through the efforts of multiple people combined. Protection. Reduces incoming power damage by 33%. This does not affect condition damage or falling damage. Stacks in duration. Quickness. Increases attack and action speeds by a whopping 50%. Basically, most skills that have a cast bar or animation, this speeds it up. Again, most groups make sure they have someone providing alacrity and quickness when forming up at high levels. Stacks in duration. Regeneration. As its name implies, it grants healing over time, restoring health every second based on the healing power of the person who gave it to you. If someone with a stronger regeneration adds to your stack, the strongest one will move to the front of the line. Most healers for groups have this in their kit. Stacks in duration. Resistance. A less common boon among the various classes, resistance temporarily lets you ignore non-damaging conditions. For example, if you are feared but you have resistance, the fear is still on you, but it does nothing unless the resistance is removed before the fear wears off. Stacks in duration. Resolution. A less common boon among the various classes, this is basically protection but for dots. It reduces incoming condition damage by 33%. 
stacks and duration. Stability. Stability is a very powerful boon that most classes cannot keep up all the time, making it a use it when it is needed type of tool. It stacks in intensity and each stack of it will prevent one crowd control effect from hitting you. Any applications of knock down, knock back, pull, launch, stun, daze, float, sink, fear, or taunt will remove a stack of stability before hitting your character. Some boss mechanics are completely trivialized if you have someone giving your group stability, so you aren't knocked around and can burn the boss down or do whatever needs to be done. Swiftness simply increases your movement speed by 33% and it stacks in duration. It makes you run faster. Vigor increases your endurance regeneration speed by 50%. For new players, endurance is the bar you use when you dodge roll. This allows you to dodge much more often. Some classes such as Mirage, Daredevil, and Vindicator can use their dodges offensively to do more damage, and they love having this boon in their group for more than just defensive reasons. This stacks in duration. Concentration. One related item to talk about is the concentration stat. This increases the duration of boons you provide to a maximum of 100% bonus duration. Some common uses of this stat are Harrier Gear, which has high healing power and concentration for boon uptime for healers, and Diviner's Gear, which is often used by power DPS who provide boons. A Ranger's Spirits, for example, at the time of recording this, give one and a half seconds of boons every three seconds. So with max concentration, it becomes three second duration every three seconds, and then it is permanently up on the party. An honorable mention here is Super Speed. Not technically a boon within the game, but a very powerful buff that gives you 100% movement speed and cannot stack higher than 10 seconds. Because it is not a boon, it cannot be removed in the same ways that boons can. Note that this doesn't stack with the earlier mentioned swiftness, just the largest movement buff will take effect on you. Finally, it is worth noting that boons can be removed or even corrupted. If a player or NPC removes a boon from you, it disappears and that's the end of it. If the boon is corrupted, it disappears and is replaced by a condition, typically something considered the opposite of that boon. As a quick example, swiftness, which speeds up your movement, being corrupted becomes crippled, which slows down your movement. Necromancers are well known for having a large amount of boon corruptions in their toolkit. That's all on boons for now. Hope this clears some things up. Tata for now, a video on conditions will be coming soon. Hit like and subscribe.